guys, so today I am going to be. I'm going to be. Hey Kim, do you want to say hi? Hey, do you want to say hi? Hi. Didn't know that. Hi. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a. Oh god, this is so bad. This is so bad. It's not like the camera's about to die or anything. Here. We're still talking. Dad, can you gently put things in this freezer? Yeah. Hey okay, guys, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a grocery haul. background it's my dad rearranging the freezer because I got a lot of food so basically if you guys haven't heard yet I'm switching to a plant-based diet and today I just went grocery shopping for all of it and um, I spent a lot of money but plant-based dieting is definitely more expensive than like regular dieting because there's different things you have to buy because I know a lot of people wanted me to wanted me to show them like my grocery list and things that I'm getting because I know other people are also wanting to switch to plant-based diet or people who are just wanting to learn more about it so I'm just here to show y'all what I got and this is my first time shopping for it so I did buy a lot of stuff because I need to try things that I haven't tried before I need to see what I like and what I don't like so obviously you don't need to buy all this I'll show y'all what is probably like really important for you guys to have um, if you are switching to a plant-based diet so if you don't know what plant-based dieting is it's basically where you don't eat any meat and you try you don't eat anything that comes not from a plant basically so like um, it's kind of like I don't really know the difference between veganism and plant-based dieting because it kind of seems the same but I'm not gonna call myself a vegan just because like I'm not to that extreme um, I'm not to the extremity at least yet. I just started so right now I'm just really trying to lean myself off of meat and make sure I don't eat any meat and then I'm trying not to I'm not drinking any milk or really eating any direct cheese but if some like foods that I get from restaurants or other things though do have like dairy in it like milk and cheese I'm not just gonna like restrain myself from that because I just started and I come from a household where we eat a lot of milk we eat a lot of cheese we eat a lot of dairy so it's gonna be really hard for me to just directly switch over to that. So I'm just trying to like slowly ease into it and I'm not gonna like try to pressure myself too much by just trying to not eat any dairy. But I'm trying my best. I got a lot of plant-based things. I'm just gonna show y'all. I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna go buy it in parts. But first off, what is probably super, super important that everybody has if you are switching to a plant-based diet is protein powder. This is super, super important, especially um, because we aren't getting all the protein that we usually get from meats. There is protein in other things such as like broccoli and other vegetables, but protein powder is super important because you just need that as a supplement. So you wanna have like a morning smoothie either as your breakfast with like other things or before your breakfast and you wanna make sure you put this supplement in it. I just got this one from Walmart. It's the organic protein protein powder plant-based. And I am gonna order some. I don't know if you guys know who Daisy B. Guerrero is. She's also another plant-based YouTuber. And she's sponsored by Blessed um, Protein Powders and stuff. And I've been checking them out and I do want to buy their protein powders and their pre-workouts and stuff like that. But it is more on the expensive side. So for now, I'm just going to stick with this and then I'm going to go through this. And then once I know I'm really dedicated to this, then I'll um, buy the Blessed Protein Powders. But since I'm just starting, there's no point in buying like a $60 protein thing. This one was only $18 at Walmart in the like protein section. I also got free workout. This one really isn't necessary for a plant-based diet, but I do work out. I try to, I'm trying to work out daily now, so this is like my motivation. Free workout is for before you work out. It helps you burn more calories, burn more fat, and it just gives you the energy that you need. You drink it 30 minutes before your workout. And then also a super, super important thing is having B12 vitamins. I just learned about this. One of my like supporters told me because I, I asked some questions on my Instagram and I was like what are some groceries that you need as a plant-based diet and they said B12 vitamins because B12 is what you get in meat usually and since I'm not eating meat you have to get these supplement vitamins so you can make sure that you're getting all the vitamins obviously that you need okay moving on to fruits and veggies it is super important that you get a lot of frozen fruits and veggies because in your smoothies you're gonna want to put frozen veggies one, you don't have to use ice then, so it doesn't make your drink super watery. And two, it just helps you on produce because produce gets moldy so quick and it's just easier if you have frozen ones, so then you don't really have to keep, you don't have to worry about that. So for actual fresh produce, you want to keep a small amount of that at a time, especially if you're just one person like me eating, because you don't want to buy... 
because you don't want to buy produce in bulk and then it all go bad and you waste a ton of money because produce does get expensive so I have these um, frozen raspberries. They're a great value brand because they're just frozen raspberries. You don't really need to buy a $5 bag of raspberries. These are like $3, I think. I have frozen sliced peaches. And I am pretty cheap when it comes to groceries, so I try to get the cheapest things possible, but also while being healthy and all that. Plant-based dieting is not cheap at all, but you can save money while doing it. Um, you don't want to just buy the most expensive thing because you think it's the best one. Cheap things can be just as good. I also have frozen blueberries. And then, oh, look, it's my baby nephew. Okay, moving on to veggies. I got um, frozen mixed vegetables just as just to put into like my veggie bowls that I'm gonna be eating because it's like quick and easy and I won't have to really like cut up a lot of produce. Um, and they're also frozen so they last a while. And then I got frozen corn because I really really like corn. For fresh produce, I got mangoes, cauliflower because cauliflower is a really good substitute for like meats and stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a good substitute for like chicken when you roast it, it becomes really really good. Mushrooms, I love mushrooms and they are really good in like flavor and putting in things to just give it flavor. Avocados, avocados are super important because they one they help you burn a lot of fat and they're super super good for you and they're also high in protein I'm pretty sure. So you want to make sure you get avocados as a plant-based person. And then tomatoes, I absolutely love tomatoes. My parents also got me um, those cherry tomatoes. I also got asparagus because I really really like asparagus and it's just another like vegetable to have. Um, obviously vegetables and fruits that you get are going to vary depending on your likings. I also got tofu which I think is super important for any plant by, uh, plant based eaters because it is like a substitute for like a meat texture. And also for egg, I know a lot of people use it for an egg scramble um, but it's called like a tofu scramble. And then I also forgot to show for protein, I mean for produce but I also got raspberries. I don't know if I showed that or not. But I got a lot of them because I go through raspberries like really quick. I really like raspberries. And then for cheeses, because I do like cheese, they have um, vegan mozzarella at Trader Joe's. And then I also found... Hey, guys, uh, okay, just finish your conversation. The littlest one that we have. And then at Trader Joe's, there's also um, a soy cheese blend, which is uh, just basically lactose-free. So I'm pretty sure it is vegan. It doesn't say that it's vegan, but I'm pretty sure it is because it's soy and it, it's lactose free so and then for my meat substitutes because obviously as being plant-based you don't eat meat i got a lot of different choices also for veggies i got fresh baby spinach because i oh know just just regular fresh spinach because uh, I really like spinach in my salads and then they also can go in smoothies. Um, I just buy little packs at times because spinach does get old pretty fast, especially if it's just sitting there, it will just start getting gross. And then I also got frozen broccoli. I was going to get a, a pack of like fresh broccoli, but then I saw the pack of fresh broccoli was like $5 for like, like this, but it was a smaller bag. This one was only $5 and it's a big bag and it's frozen, so which is even better. It's okay to like get frozen vegetables and still it'll still count as being healthy because it doesn't have to be like super fresh. As long as you're just like getting vegetables, it's basically the same thing. It just lasts longer and it saves you money. Okay, so for my meats at Trader Joe's, they have this thing called chorizo, which is basically just chorizo, but obviously like vegan or plant-based. Um, it's made with soy instead of actually being made with real meat. Um, in my house, we really like to have chorizo and eggs, so instead of having chorizo and eggs, I'll be having chorizo and tofu, so I'm really excited to try that. And then, I don't know if you guys watch her, but I already mentioned her before, Daisy Bibero, Daisy B. Guero or something like that. I don't know how to say her last name, but she says that she uses organic grain tempeh a lot. She uses it in her, like, her stir fries and stuff, and she really, really likes it, so I decided to try it. It is, this is pretty expensive for, like, this little packet. It was, like, $5, I think, at Trader Joe's, but, um... I'm excited to try it. Did I not get rice? I was for sure that I got rice. I thought you did. Um, I also got brown rice, but I actually forgot to actually get it. But um, another thing to get is brown rice and also beans. For more meat, I got this brand Gardein, um, the ultimate beefless ground for like any ground mixtures that I make. Uh, a lot of times I like to have ground beef and potatoes. That's super, super good. Me and my family like that a lot. And then I got Morningstar Farms Original Sausage Patties. Obviously all the stuff that I'm saying isn't actually real meat. Um, and then Morningstar Farms um, ground, Grillers Crumblers, which is also another like beef crumbler. I'm trying different brands to see which ones I like more. Um, Cause I've obviously never tried this stuff before. Morningstar Farms Buffalo Wings. A lot of this stuff you can get at Walmart. Some of this stuff I got at Central Market, but some of the stuff I also got at Walmart. So don't doubt Walmart. I doubted them. I didn't think they were gonna have a lot of vegan options, but they actually do. 
Um, Morning Star bacon strips, and then Dr. Prager's sweet potato littles. They're little sweet potato nuggets instead of actually chicken nuggets. Um, Gardein sizzling beefless strips, which I'm really excited for to have this in like a beef, uh, beef stir fry because I really like stir fry. The ultimate beefless burger by Gardein. Gardein seven grain crispy uh, chicken tenders, which obviously aren't chicken. And then I really like to have ham sandwiches, which I was really sad about giving up ham, but they actually have plant powered deli sliced ham. Um, so I'm excited to try that. This was expensive. It only comes with 12 slices and it was like five dollars. So it's kind of expensive, but and then I also got vegan butter. This stuff is also expensive, but um, Daisy said that it lasts a really long time. So and especially since it's just me eating, I am gonna go by her word and hopefully it does last me long. But cooking with butter is super, super important for flavor. So I really, really recommend getting vegan butter um, if you're gonna become plant-based or, ve or vegetarian or vegan. I also got vegan sour cream to go on my like vegan tacos. And then plant-based um, yogurt because I like to put yogurt in my smoothies and stuff. So this was also really, really important to me. And also just have like a yogurt parfait or something. And then I also got Fortune stir fry teriyaki flavor. These are stir fry noodles and they are vegan. Um, so this is, as I was saying for my stir fry, I actually, I'm pretty sure one package should be enough for just me and it's ready in three minutes so i'm gonna try this i'm excited to try this okay guys so my camera keeps dying so i keep doing it in like sections that's why it keeps getting like smaller and smaller but i did like all of the cold stuff because i really need to put it away because we had to get a whole bunch of stuff out of our fridge like i literally have my own fridge now because we have we've always had two fridges but we have one in our laundry room that we use for like drinks and just like extra stuff but now that one's like my fridge with all of my like stuff and my dad has to clean out the freezer for me because i have a lot of frozen stuff as like the all the like frozen non-meats so he was like doing that in the beginning video so that's why it was kind of noisy but um for my milk i get the silk almond organic milk um my mom gets this at either costco or sam's in like a big pack it comes with three or four of them um so i really recommend that it's dairy free gluten free soy free it's vegan obviously um I have always liked almond milk. I've always been a fan of the vanilla almond milk more because it just tastes better by itself because I really, really like milk. Like I love drinking milk by itself, but obviously, and it's also bad for me because I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant. Um, my, my stomach's like super sensitive to it. So I try to drink almond milk a lot, but now since I'm actually plant-based, I actually have to drink almond milk. So I just got the regular one though because the vanilla almond milk has a lot of sugar in it and I didn't really want like all that sugar, especially like um, in my smoothies and stuff. I just got the regular Silk Organic Original um, Almond Milk. Okay, so my camera right now is storage. But I forgot what I was saying, honestly. But yeah, um, so that's what I use for my milk. Also, coconut milk is a really good source. I'm probably gonna end up getting coconut milk, but for like my cereal stuff, I drink organic almond milk. For dressing, I got this Healthy Choice Power Dressing Creamy Ranch. I really like ranch. Um, on my salads, I don't like Italian dressing and I don't really like vinaigrettes. This one is not um, vegan. It's made with real vegetables, cauliflower puree, buttermilk, and sunflower oil. But since buttermilk has like actual milk in it, it's not vegan obviously and it's not plant. I don't think it counts as plant based because it has milk in it. But as I said before, I am not being super hot on myself about taking all dairy out of my life right now. It has like milk in it. I'm gonna like, I'm trying ha as hard as I can to eat as much plant-based things. Like that's why I got the vegan cheese and that's why I'm drinking almond milk and stuff like that. But as I said before, if little things have some milk in it or if I go out to a restaurant and I get like a salad and it has um, milk in it, I am not just gonna like decline it because one, that's gonna be hard on my body. It's gonna be hard to really adjust to that super quickly. And two, that's not like the whole purpose of this. The whole purpose is mainly to get out meats and then as much dairy as I can like I'm not eating eggs or that's not dairy but that's um what is that I don't really know what that is but I'm not eating eggs and I'm not eating um as much dairy as I can and then I got avocado oil avocado oil is super expensive um compared to other oil uh, at least in my book like I am a really really cheap person so it took me a lot to spend this is six dollars for um virgin avocado oil and it comes with 8.45 fluid ounces so it took me a lot to spend six dollars on avocado oil but um it is a really really healthy oil to cook with i do recommend this but obviously it's not a must it's not a need i also got coconut oil this is for my 
my overnight oats. I know I put coconut oil in it and then also just anything else because I know that you use coconut oil a lot in cooking, especially now it's plant-based. They put it in a lot for like texture and substitutes like that. So I got coconut oil because I'm not, I don't know a ton of recipes right now. I have been watching videos, but obviously as I go through this more, I'm going to learn more recipes. For all of my like nuts and stuff and seeds, I got rolled oats. These are for my overnight oats like I was talking about and then any oatmeal that I want. These are just 100% just natural oats. Oh, I forgot to say, I also got agave syrup. This is organic raw blue agave sweetener. I know a lot of people use this in smoothies, acai bowls, overnight oats like I was talking about before. Just in a lot of stuff, it's a natural sweetener and I don't like honey. So instead of honey, I'm going to be using blue agave syrup. And then I also got hemp seed. These are super important for plant-based eaters because they are super, super nutritious. You can just throw these on anything for a source of protein. Um, I've seen people throw it on like their vegetables, their spinach, their salads, their um, acai bowls or smoothie bowls or smoothies so it's really easy to just throw into anything basically um some people i think people say that these kind of it's kind of cheesy i'm not sure if they're talking about hemp seed or what so yeah um, I know these are super nutritious and they're pretty important and I don't I've never tried them before but I'm pretty sure since everybody throws them in everything um, they're easy to just work with um, then I also got cacao powder it is basically a uh, cocoa powder but it is all natural and raw and then I got white quinoa 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 white quinoa 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 Okay, I'm obviously struggling saying it. I don't know how to say it. But I got this. Um, I'm going to make a quinoa bowl. Um, you basically just put this and then like vegetables and stuff. Along with that, I, so as I said before, I'm also getting brown rice. My mom is getting that from Walmart right now because I forgot to pick it up before. And then lastly, I got organic and sweet coconut chips. Uh, these are also going to go in my um, overnight oats. And then just anything else I want to top off my bowls with, like my smoothies, my acai bowls, my smoothie bowls. Um, things like that. I also have chia seeds in my pantry, just don't feel like getting them out. And I also have a uh, granola for my uh, yogurt parfaits, my plant-based yogurt parfaits, um, and then smoothie bowls and anything else like that. And then for my bread, I got the Trader Joe's um, whole grain bread. I'm pretty sure this is like plant-based. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure like it's like Actually, I don't really know. I'm not for sure if this bread is plant-based or not. I'm not going to be mad if it's not. Um, I know there's this bread called... Um, I know there's this bread. It's like the healthiest bread in the world. Um, it's like it's just basically just made of grains. Um, I completely forgot what it's called. But I saw that at Trader Joe's and I saw that it was like... I think it was like $8 for like a little, like a little, little pack. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I cannot bring myself to pay $8 for um, a little a little bag of bread so i just got this one i've always liked whole grain bread and like um the bread with like all the nuts and the oats around it so i've always liked this and then for my tortillas i got brown rice tortillas and then last but not least i absolutely love these mangoes if you never if you guys like dried mango and you guys like spicy things um i really really recommend the chili spice mango from trader joe's this stuff is amazing it is the best chili spice mango i've ever had i've had so many chili spice mangoes from different stores and this is the only one that I feel like I actually really, really, really like. Um, basically, it's a dried mango, and then it just has chili spices around it. And I really, really like chili spices. Um, and these are super, super good to snack on. You just don't want to eat too many because mango is super rich in... It's that stuff that, like, makes you poop. Um, oh, why am I literally forgetting everything? It's super rich in that. They're just, like, dates, so they do make you um, poop, basically. So if you eat the whole bag, and because they're chili spice, they're going to upset your stomach. I always forget that. I have a really sensitive stomach too, so it kind of does upset my stomach. But if you eat like a little bit to snack on them, they're perfectly fine. They're not the healthiest. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the best go-to snack to eat every single day. But I do get a sweet tooth and I don't really like actual sweets. Um, I like fruit way more, but if I really want like a real like sweet tooth, I'll just eat this. Okay, so I put all my groceries away and now I'm just going to talk about the places that I went and how much I spent in total. So first place I went was Trader Joe's and in total i spent 84 dollars there but this is like 
all the stuff that I got. I got a lot of stuff there. I got all my seeds there. And then I got like my agave syrup. I got some of my meats there. Or my fake meats. I got some mushrooms. I got my vegan butter there. Uh, $84 is definitely a lot. But like I said before, I'm trying to test around and see what I don't like and what I do like. So when I go grocery shopping again, I'm probably not going to buy all the stuff that I bought this time. And my grocery list is going to um, definitely condense. And then the next place I went to was Central Market. Central Market was definitely the most expensive place I went to. I don't recommend going there unless you absolutely have to. Um, I found out that a lot of the stuff that I got here, like I got a lot of meats here. Um, you can, I can actually find at Walmart, so there was no point in going over there. Um, but I got my produce from there. Um, I really like the produce from Central Market. It is a super fresh, I guess, um, choice. They have really good produce there. So if you are going to go to Central Market, I just recommend getting produce there. And then basically anything else there you can find um, anywhere else. But I did get my um, plant-based yogurt and my vegan sour cream there. I don't know if they have that at Walmart. I didn't really check since I already had it, but they most likely do. At Central Market, I only spent $61. It was like a lot of meats. And then my vegan yogurt and sour cream. At Walmart, I spent eighty-four dollars. Um, but some of the stuff, was, like I bought like four things for my dad that weren't mine. Um, he got like two packets of ham, some cream, and then something else. But like basically in my stuff, it was like probably like seventy-eight dollars. The reason why it was so expensive at Walmart is because I got my protein powder there. The protein powder was eighteen dollars. Um, so that just added another like twenty dollars to my total. And then my pre-workout was eight dollars, around like eight to nine-ish dollars. The pre-workout out was definitely not needed um that's just something for me but protein powder is definitely needed if you're gonna go plant-based because you need protein um but i also got so i got a lot of meats here too because i found them and then i got all of my like uh frozen vegetables here and then i also got my spinach there so like i said before Going into a plant-based diet is not the cheapest thing. It's definitely going to be more expensive than just normal dieting because there are so many restrictions and so many things you have to work around. But there's definitely ways you can save money. You can always get the cheaper options. Um, you don't have to spend as much money as I did, of course. And like seeing that number is obviously going to scare a lot of people. But you can definitely like work around it and it doesn't have to be super expensive. I'm going to be bringing you guys along on my journey. I'm just going to give you, I'm going to be like giving updates. And then probably in like three months, I'll do a food video like what I eat in a day. Because I need to get like an actual like what I eat. Because right now I'm just going to be trying things. I have so many things to try in my freezer right now. Like so many different meats. And I see what I like and what I don't like. And then I can actually come up with a what I eat in a day. But yeah, I'm just going to be giving you guys updates. Giving you guys videos. And I'm super excited to take you all on this journey. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys are also thinking about um, going plant-based with me. Comment down below. Or if you already are, comment. Because I want to see all of my little like plant-based vegans and vegetarians and all that. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, always. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.